What is up, Boom Squad? What up, my dudes? All right, all right, all right. Look at this. Look, it's early, early in the morning, okay? I was woke up by the wow alarm. No, I'm just kidding. I, there's, there's no wow alarm. But anyway, I woke up early this morning, and I saw something very interesting. I started looking up videos about 10.0.5 to see, hey, what's going on? And there were very few videos out there, okay? Very few videos out there. And I'm like, what the heck? Why is there no videos updated about this? Um, I don't know. But, uh, I mean, it's not out yet. This is on the PTR. This is the public test realm. As you can see, this is Blizzard's post. I'm looking at it through Wowhead. Um, I'll put the, the link in the description below. But, uh, so anybody can come click on this and take a look. But I'm just going to go over it really, really, really fast. I don't want to make a long video about this and go over every little detail because, let's be honest, I don't know every little thing about the classes. I've played all the classes, but I don't know all the abilities thorough enough, especially not through Dragonflight. Um, the last I played every class was through Shadowlands, and... Here we are in Dragonflight with tons of new talents and abilities and all this different stuff that I have no clue. So um, I'm just going to run over this briefly, really quick. They're adding the new trading post, which is pretty dope. Um, it's just going to add new cosmetic stuff, trans mods, pets, mounts, new items, activities introduced every single month. So, you know, it gives you a little incentivization to have your subscription. Um, and there's going to be one trading post in Stormwind, one in Orgrimmar. Uh, they have their respective names, TNW and Zen Shiri trade post. Uh, you'll find these outside the mage, the mage district in Stormwind, and the Zen Shiri trading post for the Horde side will be by the Gromash Hold. Gromash Hold. I think I said that right. Anyway, uh, so you'll just go to this this uh, trading tender, the trading post here. And you can earn it two different ways. One, you just log in and you go over there and you collect the, the thing from the chest. You just collect the coins from the chest. You get 500. Um, and then you can get another 500 up to 500 by doing any of the activities and stuff. And I'm not going to show you what the activity stuff, but it's pretty basic stuff. There's just tons of things. You could basically just do everything you normally do and you would be fine. Um, but anyway, to kind of go over this stuff, the main thing here, this is what they're testing right now. Uh, and I'm sure this is going to be implemented. I don't know exactly when. We're at 10.0.2, uh, but this is 10.0.5. So I'm going to expect this to happen in about two months, a month, about a month, two months for them to kick this in. And there's tons of changes. Look at this. For the Druid class, you're going to, the learning swipe at 10, level 10 doesn't matter. But anyway, the slash damage, your killer instincts is having a change to two points instead of three points, what it was. Um, N nurturing instinct change look at these new talents three different talents added new connections added four new connections added wild growth is being moved with remove curse and improved rejuvenations being moved sunfire mood feral now starts with rip instead of thrash in the tree it, it that's just the class tree on the left side and then you go over to balance now the only thing that's not being changed is the restoration tree the rest of druid but you have uh, balance has got a bunch of different changes here circle and life this is so crazy circle and life is literally being removed which is so key like it's so key and the thing that's crazy about it is it, it goes to 25 percent right and uh every all your dots happen 25 percent faster and then it's like 12.5 percent or 13 percent for your or 15 percent i think for your heels so they remove this, and then they add this new talent, which basically does half of what this does. Your Moonfire, Sunfire, and Stellar Flare, which your dots, right? Except for your Mushrooms, which is interesting, because your Mushrooms can have a dot. Uh, that damage is faster, 13% and then 25%, which means it's more than likely going to be a two thing, uh, a, a two talent. Uh, this was only one. Now it's going to be two which kind of sucks. It's kind of like a nerf in a way. Anyway, I'm just talking too much about balance tree. But anyway, Guardian, crazy. Look at this. The first thing they say, it's going to be redesigned. Like, holy. Like, come on, man. It's crazy. Look at all these new talents. We got four 
new talents. Wait, am I counting that wrong? No, yeah, four new talents right here. Boom. And you have all these different changes. Like I'm not going to go into every little detail, but crazy. It's going to be interesting. Feral, another crazy thing. They get circle of life and death. How about that? But it's being reduced to 20% instead of the 25 that it is. So they get to keep that. I imagine the circle of life and death stays here. Oh, wait, they don't have circle of life and death. What am I talking about? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So there's all these different changes. Uh, I mean, you could see tons of different changes here throughout the whole tree. Uh, like moving stuff around and anyway, different connections. That's just a druid. You got the evoker that's got different stuff. It's being redesigned. Uh, you've got, um, time of need, which is crazy. The preservation tree time of need is being reduced to 60 seconds and it was 90. That's pretty insane. Let's be real. That's just insane. Anyway, hunters get into some change, which I know they're going to be kind of upset because the main change here is double tap is being removed and it's being replaced by tactical reload, which is their new tra talent that does aim shot and rapid fire cooldown reduced by 10%. That is not even close to what Double Tap was. So it's, yeah, insane. And it's being moved around. Uh, Mistweaver Monk, look at these new talents. Absolutely insane. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new talents. Now, to keep in mind with this, eight new talents. And right here, they're being replaced. So three of them are being replaced. So out of the eight new talents, basically you're getting five new talents. Because three of these that are up here are replacing three of the existing ones. But that's just insane. Uh, Paladin, Holy Paladin's getting a bunch of different changes. Priest gets some changes to the class. Gets changes to discipline. I mean, <laughs> tons of changes to discipline. I don't even know how to like wrap all this up. Um, just crazy. Holy changes shadows getting a little bit of changes shaman's got some change warlock the class itself it's getting an old talent brought back like just it yeah it's just interesting um there yeah just the redesign of soul keeper anyway yeah it, it's it's an interesting thing here what they're doing with the warlock class um affliction has its change uh, the change that I was talking about was to, I believe it's, it's the soul swap. Yeah, yeah, soul swap. That this is being redesigned. This is the main change here, and they're talking about what it is, and the developer notes, and what they're thinking. They're trying to revert it to the old iteration of what it used to be. Um, I'm not as familiar with Affliction, so I can't really speak to it, but that's just interesting. You got warrior arms being changed. I mean... <sighs> anyway, they got some new creatures NPCs putting in... Um, the items rewards, this is really bizarre right here. The common and white quality equipment is now being used for transmog. They're now buying on the equip. That's, it's, that's really weird. I don't, I don't know what to think of it. Um, it could be really, really cool. We'll see. Um, let's see, just the other little PvP different change here. Not, nothing too crazy. Uh, the portals for the overload titan. Touched nodes. They're consistently taking the new location now. Um, just some really interesting changes throughout. Small things down here, but really these redesigns, like specifically Druid, like massive changes. Look at how much they're changing. It's insane. I don't, I don't know what this is gonna like. This it's just really bizarre that this is gonna be kind of halfway through a major patch, going into ten point one. And it's like, just the change itself are going to refresh a lot of stuff. I mean, if I'm just thinking about just balanced Druid alone, and you look at some of these changes here, like even just Circle of Life and Death, that's going to change a lot of different, like how you kind of formulate some of your, your build itself. And we don't really know what to expect when they say the balanced Druid tree, tree has been redesigned. They don't really go into full detail about what that is. They just say it's being redesigned. So we don't know if it's going to look a different way. There's going to be different paths. No idea. But it's definitely going to change. You're going to have to rebuild sort of thing. So you get comfortable playing the class, and then all of a sudden they move stuff around. Then you got to move stuff all over again. 
So it's kind of cool in a way where it kind of refreshes, you know, how you play the game. But at the same time, now it's got it's going to have this position where since it's going to be redesigned, you're going to start building. You're going to think, OK, either now the Druid class or spec or even some of these other ones that have redesigned stuff. It used to be good. Now it's not good or it wasn't as good. And now it's crazy OP. And now they're going to have to do some more tuning. Like, who knows what to expect? But that's just. That's just interesting. I mean, I'm actually kind of excited for it. We'll see what it comes down to if they do a couple of tweaks here and there, because this is what they're showing for the PTR. Um, coming up close to this patch cycle here, like we'll see if they actually do this. And again, this is probably about a month and a half out of when they'll actually kind of kick this in. Because I mean, you got what, 10.0.2 now, and then you brought up about another two weeks before we get another update, and then another two weeks, another two weeks. So we're, it's probably about a month to a month and a half before we actually see this. Maybe, unless if they kick these update cycles up even further. we I don't know. Um, no one knows for sure because they don't give an exact timeline about when it's going to kick in. But uh, this is interesting. I just wanted you all to check it out. Anyway, um, I appreciate you guys all click on the video, taking a look at it. Uh, I, I'm Boomer Jetson. I am, uh, my community is the Boom Squad. YouTube's very fresh and new for me. I got a lot of stuff I got to work on. Um, but, you know, give me a subscribe, you know, throw me the subscription. Uh, go check out my Twitch. A lot of my information is going to be in the description below. Go check out my Twitch. Go check out any of my other socials. Please come join in on the chat sometime in my lives. I, I'm pretty much live every day. Um, come check it out and say hi. Come chat. I mean, most of my viewers, I have very, very low viewer count I'm trying to grow. But most people are just watching and they're not really chatting with me, um, which is fine. You don't have to chat. But I appreciate anybody that chats and interacts. It kind of just livens up things a little bit. Anyway, I appreciate you checking out the video. The love and the support. Again, give me a subscription if you can. Uh, just a quick click, you know, keep to update with me and uh, as I start to improve over time. Anyway, appreciate it. Have a good day. Peace out.